So, here we are for day one of our two-day 4th of July Independence Day race here at Diamond Mountain Speedway. So, we are going to have lots of cars. Um, I've been hearing, I don't know how true they are, but I've been hearing that there's been other track or tracks that have unfortunately had to close because of fire issues, uh, fire evacuations and that. So, I... Uh, Hope and pray that things go good and that nothing bad happens with them. Um, I've heard that a lot of the drivers, instead of racing at those locations, wound up coming here. So with any luck, we will have a ton of cars. So let's uh, go start our walk through the pits. Starting out on the top of turn two here track is looking absolutely beautiful heard a lot of the drivers talking that uh, last night they had a practice Friday night they had a practice out here and that the track was absolutely awesome we have similar weather today so hopefully we will have similar racing a bunch of stocks looks like got some sprints god I love seeing sprints out here just because they're such an unusual looking vehicle but yet they're so fast kind of modified it's like holding the spot for some more cars so I imagine that'll fill up pretty quick Modified, mini, it's like modified, getting work on, sport mod back in there. Got a sprint over here. I don't know about you guys, but I love seeing all the American flags. I like to think and believe that I'm a patriot of this country, but I am definitely loving being a citizen of it. Got some more sport mods, some stocks back there. Got a dual running lady running both a stock and a sport mod. So pulling double duty tonight. Modified stock. And it seems like we are getting some uh, concessions down here in the pits now. So you can bring your cars down early and still be able to get lunch and probably even some dinner later on. Got a much newer looking mini stock, I believe. More sport mods and mods. <laughs> See a little mini sprint back there. That'd be kind of neat to be able to get those things and run those out here. Here running the water truck, keeping the dust down and keeping us cool. Looks like a mini stock, someone's selling. So if you want to get into the sport. Pause that real quick and 
get the information if you're interested in that. Maybe get some new racers out here. <laughs> Stocks. Don't know if that's a stock or pro stock. Got Galen Hainlein back out here. I don't remember seeing him for a little while. I don't know if he's got a new car or just new body, but last I'd seen him, he was running black and yellow. Now he's running white and yellow. Looks pretty good. We got guys clear back over in there. See this type of thing right here is part of why I say racing's a family sport. It's because of things like that. You can race and honor someone. You go up and take their picture, driver's meeting a four. Uh, there you go. <laughs> hey, you never know. It's <laughs> like crazy Kate over there. Wonder if that's any relation to Matt Canada's rig that he was running. I think it might be. It looks like I see Matt over there on the other side. So that's kind of cool. He's got two cars out here now. I wonder if he's pulling double duty as well. I have to wait and see. Got a sprint undercover. Another big sprint. I'm six foot. 